man, just sit there and shut up. This ain't no democracy. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. This is the United States. Your ass belong to me. They don't give a damn about you. They don't like you. I don't like you. Nobody likes you. What's up guys, boy Benny? Let's say you were trying to prove to somebody that you were rich. And so you opened up your bank account, your Robinhood account, and you showed them, and there was zero dollars on the screen. It would sort of uh, undercut your point. It would uh, cut against the idea that you were in fact rich. Joe Biden right now is trying to prove that black voters love him, that black people love him. And so Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are engaging in a humiliation ritual around the country, pandering to black people. But what they're doing is actually undercutting, cutting against the idea that black people like them, because when they try to pander to black people, well, uh, their events look like this, ladies and gentlemen. This is Joe Biden in his pandering event in Philadelphia today for Blacks for Biden. You can see Joe Biden's literally on stage here. Of course, they choose to do this inside of a basketball gym. It's empty. This is the overflow. There's no one. Look at this person just kind of like sitting around. It's it's empty. There's nobody in here. This is empty. There's going to be uh, some some photographs, right? Like what you see on TV, for instance, like this is what you see on TV from the event, but it's fake. It's not real. Just like Joe Biden's support with, with black people. It's not real. Biden loses support among black men. Wall Street Journal poll found. New survey of battleground states show that black women are weighing other options. Oh, okay. That's not good. Time to make sure that, well, we lock up our political enemies. You know, just like Joe Biden locked up hundreds of thousands of black men and uh, tell people that they're not black if they don't vote for me and then hold a little rally for blacks for Biden. And well, ladies and gentlemen, didn't go great. Here's the shot, the official campaign shot uh, trying to pan. Notice how they don't really pan that far. You want to know why? Because it would show this if they pan, if they panned like farther than a single degree. You can see here, they like try to pan, right? If they moved farther than a single degree over, you'd see an empty room because this is the reality. Biden rally in Philadelphia, he fills up about one tenth of a local high school gym. People hate crooked Joe Biden. This is what Donald Trump's did in the Bronx. This is what Joe Biden can do in a Democrat city that voted for him, 81 million votes, my ass. President Biden goes to Pennsylvania, thousands of people show up, Here's uh, here's, I'm sorry, President Trump goes to Pennsylvania. This is what it looks like. You can see here, many thousands of people. And when Joe Biden goes to Pennsylvania, <laughs> couldn't fill half of a gymnasium. That's exactly right. Uh, how it looks on TV. Well, all right. So let's say that uh, Joe Biden did get, you know, there, there are dozens of people there, okay? Probably, pay, they were all probably paid to be there, paid actors. Biden giving a speech uh, in Philadelphia. School kids are literally forced to attend. He couldn't even fill a gymnasium. <laughs> oh, okay, I would say we were right. So school kids were actually literally forced to attend. Donald Trump posting on Truth Social. What a, just the genius, a troll. Only 39 kids that had to be there showed up. Only the 39 kids that had to be there for their credit showed up. Donald Trump, what a master troll. Okay, so let's say you could win 39 new votes. All right. This is your big shot, Joe. This is your big chance. You could you could win the votes of the dozens of people here in the rally. Uh, rally. So you better you know give it your best shot. Let's let's hear what you have to say. Let's deliver your message. We'll never forget lying around and him how he, and us him him lying around actually. <laughs> and I quote: "We'll never forget lying around." <laughs> him lying around, actually. <laughs> okay. On Memorial Day, I proudly stood with a black man. <laughs> I'm 
Bryden's brain malfunctions. Promise we'd start to reconnect black and brown and overlooked neighborhoods cut off by highways in the 60s and decades of disinvestment as a consequence of it, including here in Philly, but we're changed out with the Recovery Act of with the, in, in the, right now, you see all the construction going on on the highways around here. <laughs> oh, no. Wait a second. What did Joe Biden just say? We're trying to erase black history. We're going to write black history because it's American history. Uh, okay. Going to be careful here. Do my best to do what I do on this program a lot, which is to just simply quote Joe Biden. All right. Let's simply quote Joe Biden. They're trying to erase black history. We're going to write black history because of the they're trying to erase black history. Okay. Seems like generally the general pablum that you would normally get. Uh, we're going to rape black history. That's, that's what he said. We're going to rape black history. We're going to write black history because it's American history. We're going to rape black history because it's American history. I'm not sure that makes a ton of sense, but that is definitely what he said. Maybe you could bring in, um, I don't know, closer, right? Kamala Harris. She's black, right? She'd be able to really speak to these fine citizens that were forced to be there for academic credit, right? I see people testifying. <laughs> Can I get a witness? <laughs> oh my God. Look at that face. Look at that expression. Like the Joker couldn't do a creepier laugh smile can i get a witness oh my god oh no oh no oh no you're gonna lose the election yes you will yeah they will lose the election it's amazing uh cnn absolutely panicking about the uh erosion of support from all sides for joe biden in fact, CBS News was actually panicking at this event. This is really interesting. Why is the party really falling short with the minority vote? Lana, good to see you. Look, it's an issue uh, that cuts across all the various groups that cobbled together the Biden coalition. He's seen slippage among black voters, among Hispanic voters, among young voters, uh, among those on the left. And in States where these races are going to be decided by just a handful of votes, maybe four figures, low five figures, any erosion of support among any of these key groups could spell real trouble, but especially among black voters. Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Atlanta, Milwaukee, Detroit are big cities inside big, important swing states. CNN goes apoplectic over Joe Biden's massive drop in support among black voters. These numbers, to be honest, could be deadly to the Biden campaign. Deadly. A huge alarm, deadly. CNN, take us home. Harry, this softening in the polling, show us why the Biden campaign is worried. Why are they worried? I mean, take a look at the numbers now and compare it to where we were four years ago at this particular point among black voters. And we see a clear decline in support. At this point, Joe Biden's just getting 70% of the black vote. Four years ago at this point, he was at 81%. Look at that doubling of support for Donald Trump from 10% up to 21%. Boris, Brianna, if that held through the election, it would be the best performance for Republican presidential candidate among black voters in 64 years since Richard Nixon back in 1960. Now, if you want to break down the black electorate and figure out where exactly is this declining support for Joe Biden coming from, take a look at this age breakdown. Look here. If you look at those black voters age 50 and over, they're still overwhelmingly supporting Joe Biden. Look at that, 85 percent to 8 percent. But look at black voters under the age of 50. Donald Trump in a recent average of polls is getting, get this, 27 percent support from them. Joe Biden at just 64 percent. So, you know, we were talking about you heard that interview. Can't treat black voters as a monolith. This age, age breakdown shows it. It shows that younger black voters are far less supportive of the president than older black voters are. Yeah, that is huge, that number there. What kind of impact are we talking about? What kind of impact could this have on the election, Harry? 
Yeah, you know, obviously those are national polls. But let's say that we funneled this down to the state level, right? This declining level of support among black voters for Joe Biden. What type of damage would that do to him in the Electoral College? Well, if you just took that into account and you didn't shift any other voters, take a look here in 2020, based upon the current apportionment, Joe Biden would win 303 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 235. But take into account that shift among black voters. Now, with just this shift among black voters, Donald Trump wins in the Electoral College 291 electoral votes to 247. Why is that? Take a look at the states that shift. You would see that the states that shift are Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, where Kevin is right now, and Wisconsin. That alone would do it, and that is why black voters are so pivotal to Joe Biden's chances to win re-election. Harry Enten, uh, alarms going off uh, on the Democratic side, a big opening for Republicans. That is an alarm right there, Harry Enten. It's a, it's a huge alarm. It's spiraling. It's ambulance. It's police sirens. It's any alarm you can think of. That should be what's going off on the Democratic side. These numbers, to be honest, could be deadly to Joe Biden's campaign. That was Harry Enten, our favorite data analyst over at CNN. You don't need a uh, analyst to tell you that everyone hates Joe Biden. Everybody does hate Joe Biden. But it's really, really fun to have events like they did today uh, just to, for visual proof. <laughs> yeah, Joe Biden's so popular with black Americans. The guy who said you ain't black. The guy who locked up hundreds of th- the guy who wrote the 94 crime bill. The, the guy who locked up hundreds of thousands of black men uh, for doing a scintilla of what his son is on camera doing. Yeah, that guy. The guy who fought corn pop, that guy, the guy who said that integrating schools would be racial jungles, that Barack Obama was a clean, was a clean black man, that storybook. These are all quotes from Joe Biden. The guy who said that uh, poor kids are just as smart as white kids. This, this guy, these are all quotes. These are all quotes from the resident of the White House. Yeah. Vote smart people. Joe Biden. Mitch Boy Benny. You should win with us. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel. See you.